AITA for not including my sister in my wedding? Apologies for the long post, but this situation escalated last night, and I need to get it off my chest. I should probably talk to a professional, but Reddit is more accessible. Background, my father and I have never had a great relationship. He divorced my mother when I was one, remarried when I was six, and had my sister with my stepmother when I was seven. As a result, I went through the typical challenges a first child faces with a stepmother and new sibling, feeling like a lower priority, etc. My dad is the kind of person who could talk sports with me for hours, but when anything meaningful or non-sports related comes up, it's like speaking to a wall. So, he was never someone I could depend on emotionally. That said, I still loved and respected him as my father. We had our ups and downs throughout the years, but fast forward to 2021, after some uncomfortable Father's Days where I made an effort to see him but was brushed off, I decided to spend Father's Day with my grandpa, my mother's father, knowing he would appreciate my company more. That led to my father and I not speaking for two years, as he ended our phone call on Father's Day, and I told myself I would wait for him to call back, which never happened. This also led to no communication with my stepmother and sister for two years as well. I got engaged in May 2023, and at the urging of my uncles, I used the engagement as an opportunity to reconnect with my dad to see if we could move past our issues. The meeting didn't go well. He essentially blamed everything on me, my mother, and my grandmother. I chose to keep quiet, accept it, and try to move forward. As my uncle suggested, I should be the bigger person, extend the olive branch, and try to rebuild the relationship slowly. Then came wedding planning. Wedding planning, as I mentioned, I got engaged in May. My dad's family, after this reconciliation, met my fiancé for the first time in November 2023 and saw her again in June 2024, Father's Day. Since we were still repairing the relationship, I didn't really involve them in the wedding plans. Yes, I planned to take photos with them and all that, but I never really considered having any of them as part of the wedding since I still wasn't close to them and was working on the relationship. My dad's family never asked about wedding planning or how they could help or be involved, so I assumed everything was fine. They knew they were getting to know my fiancé and me, and I was still calling them weekly to catch up and work on the relationship. The first issue arose a couple of months ago. My fiancé and I are getting married in a church ceremony a week before our wedding, with only immediate family present. This is important to us for spiritual reasons, but we didn't want to burden everyone with additional transportation needs. I didn't invite my father to this event, only my mother and grandparents. He found out my mother was going and became upset, saying it was disrespectful that I didn't inform him, given that he is my father, which I understand. I likely made a mistake by not mentioning it, but I felt justified in my decision when he said, we wouldn't have gone anyway. It's too far of a drive of for hours, but you should have asked. So essentially, he wanted me to show him the respect of asking him to attend, but he had no intention of making the effort. It seemed more about ego. I admitted my mistake, and we moved past it. Labor Day slash yesterday, with everything going on, I called him on Monday to ask if he and my stepmother wanted to walk in the processional on our wedding day, non-church ceremony. He agreed, made some lighthearted jokes about wearing a sports jersey, and we had a pleasant conversation. My fiancé and I continued with wedding planning and prepared for work after the long weekend. Yesterday, I received a call from my dad while I was at the office, asking if my fiancé's brother, whom I've known for years and who is very close to my fiancé, was in the wedding. I said yes, that he is a groomsman. My dad then asked why my sister wasn't included. I told him I'd call back later, as I was at work. When I called him later that evening, I found myself in the middle of a confrontation. My stepmother accused me of being disrespectful toward her daughter, my sister said she had blocked me on all platforms and was upset, and my father accused me of lying and said he didn't want to see me anymore, deciding not to attend the wedding. For 20 minutes, I was overwhelmed by accusations from all three of them, while I tried to explain myself. Eventually, I became frustrated and told my father he never cared about me and ended the call. I was completely shaken by what had happened. I didn't realize my sister felt this way. I didn't exclude her out of malice. We simply weren't close. She barely knows my fiancé, they've only spoken twice since June 2023. While I've been trying to repair my relationship with her, it's been one-sided, me reaching out, but her never reciprocating. If she felt hurt or excluded, which I understand from her perspective, a simple phone call expressing her feelings could have resolved everything. If I had known she wanted to be involved, I would have done everything in my power to include her in my big day. Instead, they acted as if I should have known this instinctively and understood everyone's thoughts. Rather than having a mature conversation, I was yelled at, and the relationship feels irreparable. From my end, I don't want to see them again. So Reddit, Ada here, could I have handled things differently? TLDR, my dad, stepmom, and sister are upset that I didn't include my sister in the wedding, despite us not speaking for two years. 